Hi guys, this is Parker here from testprepchampions.com and I'm here to answer a question today. I wanted to film a quick video. The question is, is 154 on GED Ready Math test good enough? So the person who's asking the question basically wants to know if their score of 154 on their GED Ready Practice test, is that good enough for them to go and pass the real thing? So I wanted to chime in here because I get asked questions like this a lot and I see people asking these kind of questions a lot. Why? Because, you know, you're busy, everyone's busy. I'm sure if you're watching this right now, you've got a lot going on. And if you're studying for the GED test, you don't want to waste your time, right? You don't want to go in there, waste your time, waste your money, schedule your test, and, you know, have to go back in if it doesn't work and go do it again in a couple weeks or whatever, right? So you want to know, are you going to be able to pass with a score and about of about 154, 155, something in that ballpark? So... There's really two ways to know if you're ready, and this is coming from my experience working with tons of GED students, both in person and online over the last couple years. Um, so there's two ways to know, and the first is your scores, right? So your knowledge of the material. How well do you know the stuff that's going to be on the test? And the best way to gauge this is to get out there and try the official practice test. Now, any kind of practice testing you can do is good. Any kind of practice problems you can take are going to be good. But the official, the GED ready practice tests are going to usually give you the best indication of how well you're going to do. Um, sometimes students do a little bit worse on the real thing because they get nervous or they have test taking anxiety. I'm going to come back to that in just a second here. But typically, uh, your score is going to be very similar. Um, so... Since you've already got over that 145 mark in the past, you've got to get over the 145 mark. So if you're up in the 154 range, you're above 145. Looks to me like you're good. It looks to me like you've got a good understanding of the basics and you, you know enough stuff to, to pass the test by any objective measure, okay? So what I want you to do now is to really double down on the stuff that you don't know yet, okay? There's got to be some stuff that you're a little shaky on or, you know, look at the problems that you're getting wrong. And what I want you to do is to, over the next couple days, the next week or two, whatever your time frame is here, I want you to stop worrying so much about the stuff that you already know how to do, right? So don't spend as much time on the stuff that you already know how to do, okay? It's okay to review a little bit, but, but it's probably not going anywhere, right, at this point. What I want you to do is find the stuff, the topics that you're a little shaky on, the stuff that makes you a little bit uncomfortable, the stuff that you don't know how to do yet, right? So if you go over your practice tests and your practice problems, look at the pro kind of questions that you don't know how to do yet and the kind of stuff that you're getting wrong, and I want you to spend double or triple the amount of time working Working on that, right? So really just double and triple down on the stuff that you don't know how to do, okay? And that's really going to help boost your confidence. And I think that's really going to help make sure that you get over the hump here because you're already there. If you go in and get 154 on the real test, you're, you're done. You're over the hump. You pass. You never have to worry about GED math again, okay? So right now it looks like you're already in good shape, but as an insurance policy, I would, so to speak, I would kind of double down and triple or even triple down on the stuff that you don't know, okay? So I want you to do that, um, but it sounds like you're already on the right track. So that's the first thing. You gotta know the material, and you're performing well on practice tests, so I think you're already pretty much on the right road there. So the, th the second thing is you really gotta get in touch with your intuition, and you really gotta ask yourself, you know, am I ready to go, okay? It's normal to feel some anxiety, some doubt, um, a little bit of worry about how you're gonna how you're gonna do. And I think since you ask a question like this, it shows that you've got some concerns, maybe you're a little bit unsure, okay? And that's not a bad thing. You're reaching out for an answer. And I think a lot of people listening to this video are probably in the same boat, right? They wanna know if they're gonna be ready to pass. But at the end of the day, you know, you gotta listen to your heart, right? You gotta listen to your heart, you gotta listen to your gut. You gotta really, Ask yourself, you know, am I confident? Do I feel confident that I can go in there and kill this test, right? Um, you got to be confident. You got to have confidence because once you get the material, once you get the basics down, the rest is just, it's its a mental game, right? It's a mental thing. It really is. I've seen so many students that are well prepared for the test go in there and, you know, for whatever reason, they just have a mental block or they have test taking anxiety or they just space out or, you know, their heart starts racing and their mind just goes out to lunch for whatever reason, even then they are prepared that you know the material. That does happen sometimes, right? And so the way that you can protect against that is to 
be confident, right? Believe in yourself, okay? It looks like you're on the right road here, so you gotta ask yourself, you know, deep down inside, do you feel like you're ready to go, okay? It's okay to be a little bit nervous, a little anxious, but, you know, if you wanna get through the test, you're gonna have to jump at some point. You're gonna have to take a chance, right? And, you know, it sucks, it's a drag to have to retake it, but worst comes to worst, you waste some time, you waste some money, you know, who, who cares? In the long run, nobody cares. No one even has to know if you don't tell them. No one's going to know if you don't tell them, right? Um, now, I don't think that's going to happen. I think you're going to be okay. But just really just I want you to let go of the worry. Just let go of the doubt. Really believe in yourself and have faith. Because I think you can do it. I really think that you can. And, you know, it's not going to... It's not going to help you to hold on to this kind of doubt, right? You got to really just go forward. You got to really believe in yourself that you can do it. And one thing you can do is when you get in there, take deep breaths and just give yourself a pep talk, right? In your own head. You can do it out loud if you want in the car or whatever. Who cares, right? Just tell yourself that you're going to do great. Tell yourself that you can do it. And you can also do some visualization, right? It doesn't have to be a big elaborate thing, but just close your eyes for a couple minutes and just in your own head, you know, like you're watching a movie or a TV show, just see yourself doing really well on the test. Picture yourself, you know, what you'd be wearing, um, you know, just imagine yourself going in there and acing the test. Imagine that questions are coming up and right and left, you're just knocking them all out. You're just getting questions that you know how to do and it's easy, right? You're, it, it looks easy. You're just absolutely slaughtering the thing, right? You're just killing it, right? You're crushing it. And inevitably, there's going to be some questions that you're not sure how to do. That's part of the game, right? But you got to have faith in yourself. You know, I want you to see yourself and I want you to really believe that, you know, you're going to be able to reason your way through them. When the hard questions come up, you're not going to give up. You're not going to quit. You're going to dig your feet in. You're, you know, you're going to bite your lip and you're going to just give it everything you've got and, you know, you're going to be able to reason your way through enough problems at least to pass. You know, you got to have that mindset. So, like I said, you, you know, you got to have the knowledge and that's something you can always keep working on, you know, right until you take the test. But it looks like you're already on the right track with your score. So you got to have that knowledge, but you also have to have the right mindset. You've got to be mentally prepared to go take the test. And so a lot of the times when students are scoring well on their practice tests and they're not able to pass the real test or for whatever reason they fail the test, it's because for some reason they weren't mentally prepared, you know, and that's something that a lot of people don't talk about. It's, it's hard to learn because a lot of people don't really teach it or it's not made obvious to people sometimes for whatever reason that, you know, you've got to be mentally prepared. You've got to be positive. You've got to think positive and there's no guarantees, you know, but that's life. There's no guarantees in life. But I think that, you know, if you, once you find that you really believe in yourself and you're confident and you're definite, you just got to commit to it. You know, once you commit to it, schedule that date. That's another thing you can do. I want you to schedule a date as soon as possible, whether it's a week or two from now, a day or two from now, just schedule a date and then use some time in between now and that date to, um, just review some of the stuff that you're having trouble with, okay? You can review some, everything, do a little bit of review on the stuff that you already know how to do, but I think at this point, You've got that, right? That's You're not going to forget it. So make sure that you double or triple down on what you don't know, okay? And that's going to boost your score up. You might even surprise yourself. If you really do this, if you honestly find the topics that you're, that you're a little shaky on, if you're really good, just go seek out YouTube videos on my channel or Khan Academy or just Google it. Get into your prep books if you're using Kaplan or another prep company. Go find the stuff that you don't know how to do yet. If you really double down on that or triple down on that, I'd be shocked if you don't pass, right? If you go in there with a positive attitude, you're confident, you believe in yourself, you know, give yourself a pep talk, see yourself doing well, and you just go in there and give it 100%. Let it, you know, take deep breaths, slow down. Slow down. Don't let your test-taking anxiety get the better of you. You know, you're in control. Don't let the test-taking anxiety control you. You be in control of that test, all right? And I think that you're going to pass, okay? I really think you will. So to answer your question, you got to make sure you have that knowledge base, which sounds like you're already there. And then the second thing, Probably the most important thing, right, number two, is that you've got to believe in yourself and you've got to really manage the mental game of test taking. And that's, like I said, for some reason, a lot of people, they're just not taught that. They're never really told explicitly that for whatever reason. And it's really a shame. Um, but so I'm telling you now. And, you know, just remember that worst comes to worst. It's not life or death here. If worst comes to worst. You waste a little time. It's probably going to be frustrating. And I understand that. But, you know, hey. That's life, you know, it's not a big deal. You dust yourself off, you'll survive, you'll go back in and get back at it. So really think positive, tell yourself that you can do this. And I also want you to just not worry about the past. However you've done before in math classes, high school, earlier, you know, whether you consider yourself a math person or not, I want you to just forget about that. You know, forget about anything, you know, don't tell yourself anything negative about this test. You know, it's like an inner game, you know, it's like, 
on the one hand, it's like, you know, the little angel and the devil on the shoulder, you know, kind of cartoons. You've probably seen those before, right? It's it's kind of how it is. It's like an inner struggle that a lot of people go through, you know, of self-doubt. But you got to really, when you hear yourself telling yourself, I can't do this, you got to catch yourself and, you know, think positive and you're going to be able to do it. Your score's there. Um, just make sure that you really, really, really believe in yourself and that you're confident that you can do it and, you know, commit. That's why I said pick that date out, schedule it. And, you know, it might be a little scary to do that, but I think that at this point, you got to make that commitment and then you can't back out, right? Make a commitment and get in there um, and just stop worrying about whether you're ready or not. You know, don't worry about that, okay? You got to just tell yourself, you know what, I am ready. I'm going to schedule a date and I'm going to re review some of the stuff that I don't know and I'm going to go in there. I'm going to think positive. This is going to work out. And if it doesn't, I'll try again. Who cares, right? No one's going to know, okay? So... I want you to do this, and I think that you're going to be okay, all right? I really think that you will. So, again, this is Parker from TestPropChampions.com, and I'm wishing you the best of luck. Thanks for watching this video. I really hope that it was helpful to you.